We've acquired four glow plugs and attempting to get the engine to start. Empty all of the gas from the carburetor and fill it with diesel fuel. Hey there, fellows. Coming at you with another curious experiment. Here's the deal. A car has obviously got a fuel system, a rotating assembly and a bunch of other stuff. And of course, we also have the ignition system with a distributor, a Hall effect sensor, but then all ignition systems are different. They can be cam-driven or electronic. What they all have in common are spark plugs that generate a spark for the engine for timely combustion of the air-fuel mixture to occur. But check this out. Obviously a diesel engine is a completely different animal, partly because they use glow plugs like this one. This is a smaller one, but they come in all shapes and sizes. This is what we got, and thankfully they run off of 12 volts. And we got into a bit of an argument. We've got a couple of guys who insist that they've tried this, and that it works 100%. At least on a two-stroke motor. The idea is that you can replace the spark plug with a glow plug and get the engine to run, after allowing it to warm up. As for a four-stroke, well, honestly, I was under the impression that you get an effect that is similar to detonation. That's when... The mixture ignites when it's not supposed to. Randomly because of some particulates that haven't burned all the way or didn't exit the chamber. Or because of residue that has peeled off and, um... I mean, you know what detonation is. The point is we've decided to see who's right. See if it's gonna work or not. We've acquired four glow plugs. We got a car. So we're gonna hook everything up. And instead of guessing, we got an engine right here. We got the plugs, as well as the desire to try this out. To find out for ourselves, show you guys, because we've never tried this. So enough talk, let's do this. Glow plugs in a gasoline engine, will it run? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Check this out. Like I already mentioned, converting a conventional spark plug um, into a glow plug um, and getting everything to work right, it wasn't complicated. We got four of these, now it's just a matter of screwing them in and attempting to get the engine to start. They say that with these sorts of plugs, a two-stroke engine is going to run on pretty much any sort of fuel. We'll get back to the fuel part a bit later. In the meantime, let's put them in and try starting the engine. We're not running any relays. It's all hardwired. How long you want to wait? Five seconds. Wait, how is it the engine is running? It appears... Doesn't want to leave this earth yet. Seriously? Maybe it's just a bit cold? Fire it back up. Are you seeing this, guys? I mean, you saw what sort of plugs were running. I don't understand. I'm telling you, this is basically detonation. We've removed the cover from the air cleaner, and now we're about to see what happens when more air is coming in. Yeah. 
A bit of backfiring, nothing unusual. Amazing! What we're seeing is basically hot bulb ignition, but it runs. What an awesome invention the ICE is. No matter what we do to them, they work. I need a screwdriver. What does the mixture need? More fuel or air? I say fuel. Let's try it out then. If only it weren't shaking so much. I'm not really noticing any change. It is reacting to me fiddling with the idle adjustment, though. Check that out. You can even rev it now. Neat. What if I am... Now that is definitely hot bulb ignition. The plugs have gotten hot and now... The combustion is making the plugs red hot. So the plug's getting hot? And the needle, the tip of the glow plug, simply isn't cooling off. Or maybe the alternator is powering them up. Okay, you figure it out, but I gotta go. Now they are actually slowly cooling down. Yeah, they're not staying hot. I don't know who did the ignition timing on this. It's very difficult to say whose handiwork it is. And now we have to figure something out. I think we need to do a few adjustments. To find that sweet spot where it'll run stably so that the car can be driven. Yeah, awesome. Let's fine-tune it and go for a drive. Yeah, let's get going. Well, finally! It's even idling stably. Well, are you gonna move? Okay, so after I push the choke in, there's too much air being pulled in. Not enough fuel. And it's refusing to run. Here's the situation. It is rather curious. Right now it's sort of running. At idle, I mean. I think the car might start to fall apart. Quick, disconnect the wire! Okay, well, here's what's going on. Apparently the engine is running a... like a diesel with the glow plugs. You know what we should do? We're gonna... Um, empty all of the gas from the carburetor and fill it with diesel fuel. Okay, drain the gas, fill in the diesel, let's do this.
Okay, so we have successfully drained the gasoline. Though there might be a bit left. Slap it on. Connect the battery. And let's try this out. See where this goes. With the diesel fuel. It sounds as if not all cylinders are firing. Come on, run! Yeah, this is some amazing stuff happening here. Come on! It's like a locomotive. Blowing smoke into the carburetor. Now I can definitely smell diesel fuel. It can't even turn over. Timing is way too aggressive. running solely on diesel fuel, and before we scare it off, let's slowly... Whispering? Come on now. But the rev count, I gotta say... I am trying to get it up ever so slightly. And that's how this runs... on diesel fuel. This is quite interesting. We fitted a... diesel glow plugs to a gasoline engine, and it's trying to start and run, but something's keeping it from doing so. Apparently, when you activate the choke on this, it is able to sustain operation, even if only barely. And as soon as you push it in, that's it, doesn't want to. Too much air and too little fuel? This Lada engine is just not eager to run with those plugs on a mix of air and diesel. Okay, well, if that's the case and it doesn't want to run, let's find some other means of getting there. Here's how we're going to make it run. We've got us some of this lovely fuel. It's for tiny radio-controlled cars and planes. And for helicopters, probably. It's specifically made for compression-type engines that are running glow plugs. Nitromethane, it should work like a charm. So let's go ahead and pour this in. And see how the lot react. Now the composition isn't overly complicated. Oil, the fuel itself. Nitromethane, tremendous. Yeah, let's pour it in and try starting the car. Here we go. Okay, the fuel's in there. Hook it up. And hopefully it drives. I mean, it should. Oh, wow. Um, it is running so quietly, like literally whispering. Can you imagine a lot of idling like this? You can't even hear it. You can only see the wheel vibrating. Superb. Wait a minute. Come on. Don't lose it, keep running. Come on. Look at what it's doing at low revs.
The engine is whispering. I don't hear no detonation, no nothing. This is running beautifully. And very quietly. It's like it's being propelled by an electric motor. It doesn't even seem as if the engine is actually running on its own. That's nitromethane for you. This fuel is made for compression type motors, this is just lovely. And it's working with a lot of engine. Let's give it a bit of throttle. Right now the engine is running very well indeed, 107% terrific. I love how smoothly this is operating. But it won't rev. And that's not good. Come on. They are going up slightly. It would seem as if working the gas pedal and pumping in the fuel in there is helping out a bit with that. We're sort of there. Yeah, it's revving, but... Just barely. It's not quite getting there. Come on now. So apparently, I'd say it'd seem as if it's not getting enough fuel. But hey, it's a carbureted engine, so there's really not much you can do. Is it going to be able to roll with the engine at idle? There we go. That is good. I'd say it's even better than on regular gasoline. Oh yeah, we're driving all right. This is pretty cool. I'm trying to find the sweet spot where it's able to drive. Well? Am I really unable to get over this concrete slab? Yeah, I ain't having it. No, oh, there we go, we seem to be moving. Come on, keep going. Nope. Ain't having it. So here's the situation, guys. On that nitro-methane fuel, and this was super interesting, but the engine was literally whispering. It was working perfectly, but it wasn't able to rev. With the carburetor not being designed to provide enough fuel for the engine to run on this stuff, we don't know if it needs more of it or less. It's not easy to tune a carburetor for this. Still, it ran so softly. And even in the moments when I was feeding more in there and getting the revs up, it still ran very well. It was so nice, man. And at the end of the day, the engine was running with the glow plugs. I mean, yes, we are talking idle here. It wasn't super stable, it was definitely on the rough side, though it was really nice on this fuel. But in any case, it did run. So yum. To think I didn't believe the engine would start and run, but as a matter of fact, it did. We actually still have some of this fuel left, so if you have any ideas, let us know what else you think we can use it for. And that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. Alright, catch you later.